It's Thursday, August 20th, 2020. Eight o'clock in the morning. Today I get to marry the woman I have grown to love and cherish and adore, Bria. We've known each other for almost five years and I'm looking forward to spending the rest of my life with you. You are my best friend. You're funny, you're sweet, you're energetic, you're kind, you're loving, but most of all, you are a woman of God. Thanks for being all those things every day. This past year has been amazing. Even with all the crazy things going on in the world and with the wedding and with jobs and school, we've gotten closer and closer. And today we get even closer because today we become one. I am truly blessed to be spending the rest of my life with you. I know without a doubt that you are who I want to be with and who God wants me to be with. And God doesn't make mistakes. I love you, Bria. Remember, you smile, I smile. Let's do this. Your best friend and soon-to-be husband, Michael. about the man I'm about to marry, I start to get tears in my eyes because you're everything I prayed for, plus more. I love you with every ounce of my being. Thank you for being Bay, even though you lived so far away. I love you, Bria. We are assembled here in the presence of God to celebrate the joining of Bria and Michael in the unity of marriage. That in your great wisdom and your love for us, that you have created a way that we can experience a little bit of heaven on earth through the marriage relationship. Father, we thank you today that you brought Michael and Bria together as you helped them to find one another. That you've joined their hearts and souls together as one. You may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege present to you now for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Michael Brown. <laughs> 